This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Yuki. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Warrior Gang, Fish, Fam, you know what it is. Checking one, two, three, checking, sinking one, two, three. Video one, FTR, video one. Happy Monday. Rupashi and I are here to help your Monday go just right. Just the right amount of sarcasm. Welcome back to Fish for Thought. This is the Monday show worldwide. Rupashi doing a full vert. Now, if it's your first time here, this is the show where we review fish tanks, good and bad, sometimes real nutty. If you have a peanut allergy, then peanuts aren't even nuts. All right, without further ado, fish tank review. <laughs> Damn that. How did it get like that, yo? It's been a hot minute, huh? It's very satisfying, that's what I can tell you. I mean, that looks great, but I feel like it's a little small for a betta fish. But your betta fish does look healthy, it does look happy and engaged, it doesn't look depresso at all. But I just gotta wonder, why'd you leave it for so long? That coating of algae does take a pretty long while to build up, and so does the gunk on the bottom. And see how this is not a big tank for a betta fish? Like, leaving it like that, it's kind of risky and over the water parameters. It could be a little larger, but overall it looks pretty nice. I'm sure the fish in there aren't unhappy. You know what? It does look quite small, and I would not recommend this to anybody, especially beginners. But this guy might know a little bit more of what he's doing because obviously the betta fish is quite healthy, unless it's a new betta fish they just put in to make it look like that, which honestly I don't really think that's the case. You know what? At least this bowl looks more spacious than the unfortunately so tiny glass jars. Not as good as a full tank, but at least not the worst. That's right, but we don't want to get distracted with this. We don't want to keep having to compare down. You know what my Asian parents always say, never compare yourself to worse people, always compare yourself to people above you. That's probably why I always feel insecure and unaccomplished. Never mind, bad, bad tip, bad advice. Don't listen to me. It looks like it has both a heater and filter. Yeah, again, not worst case scenario by any means. Got live plants in it too. And it's not like the betta fish is squished to hell. There are worse bulls out there, let me just tell you that. For me, it's probably sitting around a 2.5. If it was a five gallon bull, that would be almost like a five out of five. But this bull is bit on the small side. Hey guys, you know what else is a little on the small side? That thumbs up like button. It's kind of small, so you gotta really make sure you're not <laughs> pressing the other button. <laughs> oh wait, YouTube got rid of that. All right. Thank you for smashing the like button. The only button other than that big red subscribe button. Man, isn't the color red so aggressive? Don't you want to gray it out? Just make sure you press that. It'll be a more wholesome viewing experience for you. You're welcome. This tank is sent in by Zuzu underscore punk, Endler Enjoyer. That's a long name, but the end of your name, the Endler Enjoyer part, everybody like that. 20 gallon Endler species tank and it's dirted with organic soil. First things first, that Triceratops skeleton is pretty cool. Of course it's artificial, but I feel like it's not tasteless. I'm never one to put anything artificial in the tank if I can help it. Although there are some terracotta planter pots in the Tamago's tank and I've been known to use some rather artificial decor in the past, so I guess I'm a hypocrite. Everyone's a hypocrite. The roots of that floater is massive. It's like Jurassic World out here. All you need is a Chris Pratt figurine. A 3.2 out of 5, keep it up. A renter abandoned these at my property. Hippity hoppity, these fish are now trapped on his property. Wow, that is something else. I, I've, you know, I've met my share of douchebags in, in my heydays, but this is pretty next level. Why would you set up a fish tank and then leave it? Don't you want those fish? If you didn't want those fish, why did you get it? Why did you get such a big tank as well? If it wasn't really a serious hobby, this is just mind-blowing. If you're renting a place, you probably don't have a lot of financial freedom in the first place. So why get such an expensive thing and then just leave it? Did you just one day wake up and you no longer had any interest in your fish tank? Wow, very puzzling. What if there's some drugs hidden in the cabinet, hidden in the canister filter? There's just like some weed in the back of the sump. The user who posted this posted in the comments um, and is getting a lot of help. They've been directed to a monster fish keeping subreddit. So hopefully these fish are going to 
get proper homes, proper care. Maybe it will be a happily ever after for everyone, except for the guy who left them here. Cooper23 sent in this new DIY CO2 system fish tank, and it does kind of look like it's a new CO2 system because there are a lot of melt going on. There's a lot of little brown diatom, brown algae taking over. It's really tricky, especially with uh, DIY. Look at that centerpiece wood scape. Strong, robust, clear shape. Little serpy tetras, lemon tetras swimming around. Nice bow front tank, powerful light up top. For now, it's a 3.8 out of 5. Looking forward to the 5 out of 5 version of this. Is 55 gallon too big for a beginner? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Go big or go home. Now, for real though, the reason why smaller fish tanks is less preferred for a beginner than larger fish tanks is because more water means less water parameter shifts and changes. In a nano tank like a 5 gallon or below, or sometimes even a 10 gallon, the water parameters can change drastically on a new fish keeper. That's the recipe for disaster. I would say it's harder to scape a bigger tank. So coming from a aesthetic point of view, it is definitely more intimidating than your average 10 gallon, five gallon. Found in the wild on FB Marketplace. They want 500 for it. 0.90 liter tank. <laughs> Negative 100 out of five. Okay, that's probably not a 0.9 liter tank. That's probably 90 liters, but I get the idea. 500 what? 500 pesos? That's all I'm willing to pay for this. The discus help a lot with that, but based off their tank mates, I'd wager they are probably sick. The single clown loach. Well, the single discus, really. The single any fish. That's 24 gallons. Yeah, 24 gallons for $500. And it looks like that. Something doesn't add up. 500, maybe 500, uh, what's the Russian currency? <laughs> my living room aquariums. Wow, what is that plant? I feel like at one point in my life, I knew what that was called. Is that a Hoya? You got a five out of five living room, my guy. Nicely planted. All three tanks looking so natural. Think outside of the box. Scape outside of the box. Five out of five. Actually, three out of three. Bentley, my blind elderly betta, taking a break. Oh, that's so cute. I feel like my betta fish are not even that old and take a break like this. It's the overbred fins, man. Long fin betta fish. But this guy definitely looking pretty elderly. The glossed over eyes. That's another thing. Like, a lot of them just go blind when they get older. What up with that? But the fins are still immaculate. I feel like you've taken very good care of Bentley. Bentley is looking so wise. This tank sent in by seven foxes. Chili raspora, rainbow fish, pygmy quarries. Amazing stocking. But what kind of rainbow fish you got in there? Redfin rainbows or maybe... Uh, peacock. It's gotta be something small because one, I don't see it and two, there's not a big enough tank for like Bozmani. Pretty understock tank and a pretty tank. Nicely planted. Red roof floaters up top. Java fern window loaf bushing out. Nice attempt at a carpet. Hardscape is supporting the plants. 4.3 out of 5. Keep it up. Don't be a beta with bettas. Only alphas roll angels in three gallons. That's right. You want to be an alpha male. And how can you show that you're an alpha male like Andrew Tate? Bam. Replace your beta fish with angel fish in two 2.5 gallons of water each. That's how you get the girls. Girls dig it when you abuse the fish because it shows how powerful you are as a man. Zero out of five. Angels in heaven ain't gonna let this guy through the gate. Burn! Burns like hellfire. There's honest mistakes people make with aquarium selection. Then there's this. Don't even know what to say here. There's like a 10% chance that's just how stupid and ignorant this person is. I wouldn't even be surprised, to be honest. Finsky sent in their 35 gallon tank with a variety of fish and their baby angelfish that they're rearing. This is not the permanent enclosure. They will be taking the angelfish out later. I do see a betta fish or two, actually. I see like a betta sorority going on. Hope that's okay. Hope they're leaving the angelfish alone. There's some neon tetras, large swords. Right beside a window, it seems, but you got the lighting controlled. Ooh. I forgot Rapashi was here and she just scared me. <laughs> what is going on? Rapashi, I thought you were an insect. How does that make you feel? Okay. I deserve that. Like I was saying, Finsky's got the lighting controls down to a T because I don't see much algae in here. I do see some browning on the Amazon swords. A pro tip, Amazon swords like a medium to low light, but for higher, longer duration. Four out of five, keep it up. Found on Etsy, all the reviews are five star. Must be bots. Bots have overtake Almost squirted in my mouth, Rapashi. How come you and Millie both like the poo when I'm doing an FTR? Etsy bots have taken over just like Amazon. There's just no way some actual human looked at this and was like, Mason jars with bettas in them? Mmm, -hmm. delicious. Can't even see the fish because the water is blue. Could probably fit a few yellow tangs in there. That looks mighty overcrowded. I'm pretty sure all these fish each need like huge tanks and I'm not even in salt water. And I wonder if those corals are real or not. If they are real, that's pretty impressive 
great, but I doubt they're real. How could, that's way too colorful. The Great Barrier Reef corals don't look like that. Someone has a lot of money to effing burn, holy hell. Okay, so that comment makes me think this is all real, which is crazy. How overstocked? Five being extremely overstocked. Is this normal? Near eye snails chilling naked? What? No, snails are not like hermit crabs. Their shells are part of their bodies. Thank you. Hard to tell from the pic, but almost looks like some sort of leech slash flatworm. A snail out of its shell is a very dead snail. Indeed. But man, what in the world is that? Why are they trying to sell flatworms? Ain't no way, bro. <laughs> Welcome back to the end of the video. Thank you so much for supporting this channel, watching all the way through, boosting that algorithm. Ooh. Ooh, fish fam, Corey gang, Hashi squad, no more poopy on my mic. And before I let you guys go, it's time for this week's Katua. This week's Katua is one of the most basic questions of all time for a fish keeping channel. What is your favorite fish of all time? You already know mine. What is it? That's right. Good job. Soy Dora. All right, time to get out of here. Things are getting weird. If you enjoyed, please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin dot, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rod from Karasiformis to Paratural on. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without fur, I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black Tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.